how it ended up, I, I was had a few different plans going on. I had some other sponsors I was reaching out to, and I had some stuff back out. You know, it's just kind of one of those things. Everything happens for a reason at the time. I'm thinking, what am I going to do? And then, you know, it was a last-minute call in to me from Motorcycle Superstore saying, hey, I've got an opportunity. Would you like to be part of it? And it was like, well, pfft. This is like the ideal opportunity to be hooked up with such a large industry brand and they want to be a bigger presence in the motocross industry. And they had a great connection with Suzuki already. They had already done some stuff on the street side with them. I'm just really pumped on this kind of three-way partnership that we got going on between Motorcycle Superstore and Suzuki and then also our company Albertson Enterprises. Started, pick some bikes up, get our riders happy, they're waiting. So we're gonna put them on some dirt bikes, send them off to Anaheim here in a couple weeks. Who doesn't like to pick up brand new motorcycle? That's kind of one of the coolest things ever. It doesn't matter how many you get, it's always exciting to see a brand new bike. And we had four brand new Suzuki's ready to be picked up. Yeah. Now are you gonna be racing? Yeah. Full 50 stroke? Um, no, 250. It's all 250. Really? It's uh, going to be the 250 effort for this year. I've never actually raced a full season of motocross on a 250 my whole entire life. Yeah. Well, I'm glad to see Suzuki getting back. Me too. 2006 was my first year. Rode for factory teams. I've raced over in Europe. I've uh, privateered it out of my own van. The last three years, I've started trying to develop our own program. Now, getting hooked up with Motorcycle Superstore. This is a whole new journey for me because I've got a lot more responsibility than I've ever had, a lot more riders than I've ever had to watch over, including watching over my own riding. It is definitely gonna be a complete whirlwind when it comes to all the stuff going on, but hey, I'm excited about it and I'm ready to attack it. I think we're good. We grabbed those things and it was straight to work. I'm ripping them down, stripping them, do all the mods that we do to them. There really, um, yeah, as long as it's so. fast by A1, nothing else matters. Yeah, I'm yeah. used to riding the stock well, this bike. For me, just I would add to that and just say, um, Somewhat yeah, I hear, I hear, hear what you're saying, but I want that far enough ahead of that time yeah. so that uh, at least yeah. you're used to that. What we've got by then, you know, yeah. to have to have like the brand new package two or three days before, oh, yeah. and then you get to the race and go, holy shit, this thing feels totally different. Um, whatever we have, we've got to get it done quick enough that you, you're comfortable. It's something to be said about the people who start out with you, who believed in you even when stuff looked pretty grim. So, you know, I, the whole goal of this thing is to hopefully in three years it's, we're sitting in this room having the same conversation or maybe in a different shop somewhere having the same conversation about, you know, I can remember that, that conversation we talked about three years ago and now look where we're at. So. And we, we're all, we've been around so long, we all got realistic expectations. We know what's happening here, um, especially for you guys, you, you two young riders. Um, you, we're going to know what affects the results, you know what I mean? The day I called, you know, me and Jimmy worked something out. So, yeah. you know, he's very, I can tell from him and Greg and Jim, you know, they, they thought deep in their head and made decisions to do the best thing for the team, to build the team as a future. I mean, that's the one thing good with Suzuki and everyone else is 
you know, we're bringing the lights bike back, and obviously there's going to be a lot of things bugs. to build off of, but, mm -hmm. you know, that's how everything started, and, you know, that was a positive for me where, you know, it worked out for me to come back here. You know, everything happens for a reason. I was sitting there <laughs> five days ago going, uh -oh. man, what am I going to do? Picked up the phone, called Jimmy. I'm like, okay, I'm going back to Texas like, yeah. immediately, so... Well, they have the right, they have the right direction. Uh, my name's uh, Randy Poulter, randypoulter.com. We're out here at Compound 77, rebuilding the Supercross track. We're in the first stages of the track redesign. We're roughing it in right now and just getting the dirt placed. Then we'll come back in with dozers and uh, shape it in and get it closer. And then the final stage is just take a skid steer and make it look pretty. The total time to build the track will take about three days. Uh, today is Friday, so we should be finishing up around Sunday. Well, every track really ends up being different, you know. You got your basic jumps, you know, tabletops, rhythms, and rollers and stuff, but the placement of them is what's different. You know, I kind of took what we had here and modified it and utilized what they had and make it the best it can be. Um, I got here probably three weeks ago and I'm currently staying in my motorhome but there's the big shop right here, tracks just outside and then my motorhome is in one of the RV parking spots right out front. It's nice to wake up and once things get rolling, it's going to be awesome to have Greg and the other mechanics here to be able to have a prep bike in the morning and not have to worry about that after I'm done riding. As an amateur racer, we didn't really know what to do and what suspension to use and everything like that. Just not having bikes set up, I think that's the main thing that I'm going to be able to learn here with these guys. I think having two veterans and two rookies is a really good situation just because Marky and I can bounce things off Jimmy and, and Kyle. and and they've been around the sport long enough to know things. And I think that's going to be the main thing is we're still learning and they're, they're going to be going after results. Did you just look at it, Gary? I've been looking at it and that's the problem. Oh, dude, you got the freaking bar. Got that going somewhere else. Those grips are sick, dude. I like him. Are you really? You yeah, really like him? I like, do. You ain't, you ain't shitting? Breathe out there. That dude is your first day super press. Give yourself a break. Especially with the arm pump too. If that's all you're worried about. Then oh, I'm worried about it. It's going to happen. This place is starting to get yellow. This is a high point for me just because like signing with a team and things like that, like something that I've always wanted to do. The support from, from these guys have been huge. Jimmy and his brother Greg, have, I've seen a little bit here and there. They've, they have a pretty tight bond besides the brotherly love, little, little arguments, but two awesome dudes that really want to have a successful team. And I think that those guys really bring things to more of a personal level. And that's one thing that you don't really find on a lot of these bigger teams that have been around for a little while. I'm working these deals and we've got tons of sponsors that are coming on and funding this thing, but we made it clear right away that we wanted that clean, professional look and I don't want us to look like we got a bunch of stuff plastered all over us. All right, thanks, JT. Was there any grease down there? I think we just need a color. I think he's saying it was on that other website. It might be. What was the, what was the, what was I found out about the team a few weeks ago. Got a hold of Jimmy and kind of heard what they were working on over here and the people that they had involved. And, you know, a couple days later, ended up with a contract. I'm really excited for me. I got the support from Suzuki during the outdoors. And, you know, I'm looking forward to being able to continue that relationship on a motorcycle that I know the quality of it. I know how good the bike handles and how much I enjoyed riding it. Hey, Kyle, you want to come sit on this thing? I'm just really excited about all the people involved and the direction they're trying to go with the team and with Jimmy being involved as well. I know he comes from a long history of racing like me. I've been racing for 
19 years. I know what it takes and he knows what it takes to, you know, be up there and be competitive and have good results and put in the work. But at the same time, you know, with Greg and Jim and Jimmy and all the guys from Motorcycle Superstore, it seems like a big family. There's a a really good positive attitude around the team and well, there's ideas thrown all over the place and you know what they're trying to do with this program over here I'm just happy to be involved with it and be a part of the team for me it's just cool to be able to do this you know as a job and the crazy thing about it is you know a lot of people look at it they're like so what do you have to do you know what what goes into it and it's you know it's a full-time job it's like having a six to eight, seven to eight, you know, especially when we're testing. It's like the rear. That's why I saw it's too slow. Overpower in the front. It's cold. Okay. Well, using, but it's you, more you in get, like. You're getting done under the hydraulic stop, so I would say. It does have a lot of rebound in it. It's just kind of one of those when I land on the top of the table, I can feel it in my rib. No. It's not like plush. It's I can see that. Don't. think that's affecting the front yeah because like you're saying where it's not getting down in I think it's because the back is is doing this yeah. even in the whoops it's going down to a, like a soft place and right in there the forks right down and, and just right down there and the same going into the turns and stuff it's like we need to um, get the bike riding a little higher but then going through the stroke easier yeah I really want to get a grasp of whether we're looking the initial is too soft on the rear or whether the rebound's holding it down. So I just backed it off quite a bit more. Okay. And um, if this is better, I want to make a change inside. All right. Oil man right there. Sucks. We're in crunch time, and luckily I got uh, two great full-time mechanics in uh, a guy named Mikey Germain, which was Kyle Chisholm's mechanic last year. Austin Kent is our other mechanic, and he came from an amateur team located out of here, and he was working for like four different riders. So I, I got lucky these guys are used to having a heavy workload because we, we threw them right in the thick of it. They've just been working their asses off. Jim Lewis, obviously, part of the main infrastructure of this whole deal, round the clock on development, engine, suspension, whatever. You know, he's just a tool that we get to utilize for everything. And then he's uh, brought his son, uh, Jesse, up just recently in the last two weeks, and he's been helping out with, with anything and everything. How much further, what, what parts have you got that he has now? Yeah, I think he's got the same pieces as you now. That's what I'm saying, he can't get any further than me. Yeah, I gotcha. No, but I'm saying I'll put it on that one, put it on here to sell it. Jim, <laughs> Jim, just, Jim just saying that you guys got the same pieces. And so you can claim being <laughs> done first? Is that what you're saying? Oh, okay. I want to clarify that. I've been taking over the reins as kind of a crew chief and then doing all the engine builds. That gives Jim Lewis um, time to go ahead and, and do all the research and do, do the tedious things as far as figuring out how to make the horsepower. I'm just assembling the stuff. So, you know, trying to give Jim as much time as possible to wrap his he head around uh, the engineering side of, of things as, as far as the engine and suspension goes. And he's kind of like my source for learning, you know. The more time we can give him to go ahead and, and, and get his mind around some of this stuff, uh, the better our bikes are going to be. So it, we're in a good environment, and uh, I, I think that we can all learn a lot from Jim, and uh, we keep it light and, you know, Hopefully we can all be together for a long amount of time because I think this crew we've got together, everybody's capable of uh, really doing big things. You want me to throw a uh, ab gap in that thing? How much are you gonna ride it? Huh? How much are you gonna ride it? I wanna ride. I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait if it's got enough gap. I'm gonna put 10 minutes on it and see what it feels like, full fuel everything, and then uh, after that I'll bike. 
kind of running late is is just testing 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 and then as soon as we get you know now we're close enough to we have to duplicate everything you know what I mean if, if we had more time we'd test 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 so now we got to the point where we're happy with what we have we've duplicated everything we're just waiting for the duplicates to come back a lot of the stuff we're doing isn't off-the-shelf stuff we got a lot of great sponsors and companies that are having, having to make some one-off stuff for us and, and it's just with the holidays stuff's coming in late so the bikes are almost finish and we'll have those things ready here in a couple of days uh, about a week out from Anaheim they'll have to test over the weekend um, just make sure everything's dialed in as soon as we get the okay from the riders a thumbs up that everything feels good uh, they'll they'll rinse them off bust them off put, put graphics on them and we'll load them up in the trailer and uh, be ready to, ready to go for Anaheim Jack, so good day out here in Comptown. I even had to ride. I don't know why. Bike currently, um, the guys have been putting in a ton of work. I think there's no question about that. Everyone's been working around the clock, and we we actually started out with a better base point than what we thought. Um, Suzuki's over the years, people have kind of pegged it down to be one of the slower 250Fs, but this new bike has a lot of changes to the engine. And it's actually a lot quicker out of the box. So I say right now we're quite a bit better than we were last year with our race bike with Mitchell on the Yamaha. So. I think a lot of that has to do with just the resources that um, we've been available to have. You know, it's just it's all about budgets in this sport, and um, I feel like we do a great job on operating on a small budget. Prototype uh, engine mounts. Um, time frame wise, there's no time to get. Uh, get them actually fabricated for us so we're hand making some for the race bikes for the first race and uh, until we get the CNC machine ones for later on. We're all like the exact same size which is scary. The only thing different is basically gloves. Well, we got some little guys with some small hands on this team. I'm not going to say who, because I don't want to ruin their game with the ladies, but it's not me. Any spare bodies here this pit? Yep. The team that I ended up on was kind of definitely something I didn't expect to be on. Going from amateur to pro, it's a big transition, yet it's something we've been preparing for, you know, since I was you know, 15, 16 years old. It's hard to get to a team that's going to help you out, and um, that's why I've been, I've been lucky enough to end up on a team like Jimmy's team, and uh, it's going to do everything they can to make me succeed. But that's a blessing, because it's something you don't easily come by. This last year, really, it's been more of training like a pro and working hard like it's a job. And don't get me wrong, like being able to call what I love to do a job is a blessing and not many people get to go to their work every day and say, man, I love doing this. I'm very excited about what the team has to offer. The track here is great, the, the shop is a huge shop. It's set up to get everything that they need and everybody working hard to give us what we need and it's a great atmosphere. It's kind of a laid back feeling out here and, and, and I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'm you know, ecstatic about everything. I can't thank these guys enough for getting me here. I'm excited. The bike feels really good right now, like I'm able to drive through stuff. I think you guys would all agree from where we started, like the oh, yeah. three on back there when I land, the bike's so much more level, but I could feel the difference just in the ignition changes. So that's still pretty good, three pounds lighter. Conservative gain quicker. Four pounds in the fork. You uh, check the tire pressure? Jim, I 
Tuesday before Anaheim, um, woke up this morning in Shawnee, now we're obviously down here at the race shop in Marietta, Oklahoma. Super early morning, tried to get a workout in before I sit in the car for 20 hours. Drove down to the shop, we got the graphics lady putting on the rest of our decals, making sure the semi is all set to go. Kyle did some laps this morning, I guess, looked good, comfortable, ready to go for Anaheim. Now we just have to drive. A couple of guys are flying, but most of us are uh, going old school. <laughs> 